Hey guys, this is Scout here, and welcome to, welcome back to, uh, to Mass Effect 1. We will continue our playthrough, um, of this game, of this wonderful, wonderful game. This place got hit hard. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Even sure which way this is going. Apparently, that wasn't oh, okay. So it's telling me it's supposed to be going this way. Let's see if I'm any map now. Jenkins, if you ask that again, I'm gonna kill you. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. That's pretty harsh, but it's gotta be done.
Squad Commander. Hey. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? I need a status report. Now. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. I'm Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Right. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. And what happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. Never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. Move out. Move out. <clears throat> Let's go. Some other type of different armor instead of this one, which is the N7 armor. Ugh. That's so sad.
This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. <laughs> I always hated these things. The husk. Oh god, they're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? door. It's closed. Security locks engaged. <laughs> I got the guy now. Don't worry about this, guys. Thank the Maker. Hurry! Close the door before they come back! What are you doing here? I'm Dr. Warren. I was in charge of this excavation. We hid in the shed during the attack. They must have come for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, well, please. This isn't right. the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. 
I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say good night, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my God! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme. <laughs> you can't just go around whacking people in the head. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. That's right. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Now he's asleep. Not being wild anymore. Or safer. Saren. Linus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the gap here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Commander. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah... Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, 
I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Shields!
No, oh, well, oh, okay. Um. <laughs> 40 minute video. Set the charges. Destroy the entire so we'll colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Watch this cut sign, then we'll cut it off. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We uh we are like we did. It's been pretty fun so far. Keep playing.